<clears throat> You're back. <clears throat> okay. So let's finish that. So again, this one was just saying, yeah, if I can't find where you are, this is basically with anything, right? Uh, your underground business, your drug dealer, your uh, puppy mill, your whatever. If the government doesn't know where you are, how can they stop you, right? Uh, licensing uh, regime uh, would allow the government to uh, inspire the places it has power revoke a uh, license for any in violation and investigate those that are not a public citizen. Yeah. So if we, again, she's saying that I believe that licensing is the most important part of this. If we can, uh, the government can check the license places, make sure the license places are doing good. And anyone that we do find that is not licensed, because again, if we make the customer need to have the license uh, to buy the dog, then they can't buy the dog from a puppy mill that's underground. Then we can be like, oh, you're not approved. You're bad. We don't want you. Something like that and get rid of them. The government is also the concealing the buying medical and this the play dues, play dues for the dogs and cats such as the this uh, decline, decline, like decline. no more claws, right? Claws, take them out. Uh, air cover, complain, complain. So yeah, uh, decline is where you get rid of the claws of a cat. Debarking is where you take the voice box out of a dog so it can't bark anymore. It goes because it can't talk anymore. Uh, tail docking is where it has a giant tail. And what you do is you basically cut the tail off. And so they only have a small little tail because uh, people like the look of it. And ear cropping is where, you know, the ears that are standing up, uh, you basically cut the ear and then the ears flop down and it looks cute. So these are very painful for the animals and are very bad for the animals. So the government is saying we're going to ban them. These are not necessarily like you don't need to get rid of the claws. The claws don't kill people. The barking doesn't kill people. Having a small tail doesn't do anything bad and having cute ears isn't bad. Right. So uh, they're getting rid of those problems as well. And finally, uh, Kaysina, Kaysina said the problems will begin the casting, uh, castigating on toss issue in the new year. So yeah, these ones, right? <clears throat> so in the new year, they'll talk about these ones. The puppy mill stuff they're talking right now in December, they're dealing with it right now. Uh, but in uh, January, they'll talk about these ones here. Um, in China, where do you normally buy dogs? Do you go to like a pet store or do you go to a farm? No. How does it normally work in China? You can, we, we not buy the dogs. We just, you, when you, uh, when you dog the both the money dogs, you say, oh, okay, send it to me, send it to him. Uh, oh, okay. We not <laughs> buy this. We not do this. Well, I guess that's why we're different. In Canada, you have to neuter your dog, make them not be able to have babies if they're pets. So our dogs can't have babies anymore. <laughs> um, so you have to buy from a store if you want to have a dog. Uh, okay, so you're like Vietnam, because that's what we do in Vietnam. Every dog has babies and then we hand babies out. Uh, <laughs> even my dog has babies now. <laughs> uh, he's a bad dog though. <laughs> Um, the neighbor said that he wants to snip my dog because my dog ha had babies with his dog oh, and yes. he can't find to give away dogs. He's like, no one wants my dogs. <laughs> um, 
so uh yeah he's mad at me because my dog gave him babies and i didn't have to take any of the babies <laughs> but anyways okay so let's find another one now uh, uh, <laughs> here should be a fun one uh what does canada winter look like So here's an article on in photos. It looks like winter in Canada with some expectations. <clears throat> so they're basically going to talk about what's it like in Canada. Here's some pictures for what's it going to be in Canada. So this looks like Canada, right? <laughs> uh, very interesting. In oh, what? That's the only picture? They only did one picture? Never mind. What? They didn't even make an article about that. That was weird. Um, <clears throat> let's change to this one then. Baby formula. So baby milk, right? Uh, they're saying that the prices have increased crazy by like 20%. The baby milk price. Not good. Oh, in Canada, every month, send how much money to the baby milk money? Uh, well, we'll find out. It's gone up 20%, so I don't know how much anymore. Like oh, before, before, like it would cost $20, $30 a month. They say milk? Uh, when you kiss uh, uh, 18, before 18, Every year, the government sent uh, the milk money to the kids. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, it's not milk money. It's baby money. It's just baby money. It's not for milk. Um, your first child, you get $300 a month. And your every child after that, you get $100 a month. Uh, in, in Ontario, remember that Canada is very province-based. I don't know the other provinces. But in Ontario, you get $300 for the first baby, and then a second baby would be $400, third baby would be $500, fifth, or sorry, fourth baby would be $600, and so on, just 100 more each time. Yeah. Uh, and that's for anything, right? That's for food, that's for education, that's for everything, right? Clothes, anything. <laughs> okay. Anyways, go ahead. When it come to the feeding her the newborn uh, food, actually, 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 uh, now <coughs> takes a village. Basically, she's saying it's not just me who feeds her newborn son; it's the whole family, right? Grandma, uncles, aunts, everyone, right? Everyone helps her. And able to the uh, produce enough place milk after an emergency uh custodian to 20 year old from the chili work bc says friends and family from the echoes to the country as far away as an ontario where sent her they uh formula 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 uh, means baby milk but like the the powder the powder yeah uh, her six months old soon caught with this on the meat is the nutrition needs. needs yeah so breast milk right your breast so she doesn't make enough breast milk because she had a surgery to with the emergency surgery so like her body is just not strong enough to make enough milk anymore because she had a huge problem with her birth. Uh, this is quite common with people who have emergency birth. Um, and so she's saying that her family is helping her buy formula and send it to her, even from Ontario. She's from BC and people from Ontario are mailing her formula because she needs help from her family, <clears throat> which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, the same milk. Uh, finally, is the only one called Kinstamak. But it 
has become increasingly difficult to find at major retailers like Valmet City CBC News. Basically, uh, Similac or Similac? I don't know. That's a company name. <clears throat> that specific milk is the only one the baby won't throw up, right? The other milk he goes and vomits, right? But this one, the baby drinks and he's healthy. So she has to buy this one. She can't buy the other ones because the other ones don't work. But she's finding it difficult to find. She can't find this milk. She's looking in Walmart. There's no more milk left. She's looking in Target. There's no more milk. Like, what's going on? Why is there no more milk? Why is the more milk? <clears throat> At what the poor in do you step creating it the short edge because it's been so long since? Because <clears throat> Canada and America have had a baby formula shortage. Uh, because of COVID and stuff. Uh, and they're basically asking like, we've had a shortage for like three years now. H how is that a shortage? That's not a shortage. That just means we don't make enough, right? Like a shortage is like three months. We don't have enough baby milk for everyone. Not seven years. Like what's going on? That's all she's saying. Like what's going on? Why do we have like five years of no milk? As the Canadians, Canadians starch a uh, stretch, straight edge. Struggle, stretch, struggle. Straight go. Straight go to keep up with the racing uh, cost of the gray sea race. Hotel and another new part talent are feeling an a deep touch as the supply uh, short each spare kit in part by the destruction destructions for the us new factor puts the place of the four mana every higher every higher every higher uh, yeah every higher just means like even higher right <clears throat> they might have actually spelled that wrong they might have actually meant even higher i think they mean even higher but they might have made a mistake there um <clears throat> this is basically saying that canadians are struggling right food prices have gone up by like seven ten percent which is difficult for everyone but new parents are struggling even more because baby food has gone up not by ten percent like everything else it's gone up by like twenty percent so like this is very difficult for the new parents uh old parents that have like five-year-olds and six-year-olds they're difficult because they have to pay for 10% more, but for new babies, they have to pay 20% more, which is really difficult. And again, that's just baby formula, right? They're feeding the baby. <laughs> uh, say this calls Canada that just that between the September uh, 2022 and September uh, 2023, the place Test of the formula uh, increased more than 20% for the $33 are contained to milking 38. So uh, normally you need two containers to for one month. So, uh, so it used to be $62 a month for new parents to pay for this. And now it's $76 to pay for it, which is, uh, what, uh, uh, $14 increase. And that's only baby milk. And that's also that containers change depending on how big your baby is, right? At the very beginning, you normally need two containers, but when the baby gets bigger and bigger, you need to get three, four five. So you're starting to spend like 200 or 150 or $120 a month just on food for your baby, not clothes, not food for you, not internet, not rent, nothing. That can be very expensive, right? Um, cool. Baby for you. In, uh, in fact, uh, formula has the recent in 
place almost uh, five uh, teams more than the average food have to have to keep in a regency store since March of 2022. Said the dealer house university food policy uh, research say even said uh, that's pretty significant. Significant. Hey, boss, at the thirty seven. <laughs> Keep them out. Um, so, yeah, they're basically just saying that normal food prices, again, have increased, which has been difficult, right? Um, but baby food has increased five times faster than average food. So, like, let's say I spend $100 a month on food. I'm only going to go to, like, $110 in food uh, from March 2022 to now. But if I had a baby and I used to spend, let's say, because I have a baby, I spent $150 on food a month, my $100 would go to um, uh, 110, but that 50 would go up by $25. So I'd actually be spending, uh, I would go from 150 and go to 185. So I'm increasing by like $35 per month extra. And again, that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's like fake numbers. Those aren't real numbers. Real numbers could be up to 200, 300, 400. Like these could get huge depending on how big your family is. Yeah. Oh, and this is just saying uh, the cost of baby formula going up is hurting the poorest people the most, obviously. <laughs> oh, Otterly uh, says that with her son, has mean between the 24 and 30 and cause uh, of the foremost every day it is passing her more than 28 every month so again that's what i was trying to get at is the real numbers are basically 300 dollars a month on baby food only again not clothes not food for me not rent not internet not gas not uh blah 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 just baby food and it's 300 a month that is crazy right that's way too much money she tell she told the she told cdc he has had to tell another parties of the budget to afford a food cost the formula basically he's she's saying like well, obviously, I have to support my baby, so I have to stop spending money on other things. So maybe less gas. I'm not driving as much. Maybe <clears throat> less food for me or cheaper food for me. So instead of eating good meat, maybe I'm eating sausages now that are cheap. Maybe something like that. Yeah. It no, she said, I'm spending the seventy dollars a week when I could be putting that money in gas tank yeah so she's like <clears throat> i could be using that money to drive and maybe get a better job or <clears throat> maybe uh make it easier on us to get food and blah 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 go to the grocery store i could easily do that but 70 dollars a week is too much and i can't do that anymore and mm -hmm. This one's just going to talk about how experts say, like, what should you do? Like, what are the experts and parents should do? But uh, we'll skip that. Uh, oh, in a statement. In the in a statement, we we met uh, writers in the face on the occurring uh, global industry with uh, subsidy. Sapi changes uh, with baby for more and older make it place uh, places including double the de de place in say like for more uh, supplies over the last two years 
we contain to our upper soul. Absolute. What's the best every day to make it sure for the customers to find formula on the budget? So when they say double digit here, they're talking about like $10 increases. Because uh, double digit means not one, like not $1, $2, $3, $4, but two of them, right? Meaning 10, 11, 12, 20, 50, 60. There's been huge increases in everything in the last two years, which is again, normal because COVID, right? Um, <clears throat> and so uh, Walmart's trying their best. Well, that's what they say. They're trying their best to make people be able to afford this stuff. Uh, but they're struggling because of that. The pressure is very difficult right now. Uh, this flight this the choice we have about 90% more the inventory in stores compared to the same time last, e last year. Yeah, so last year they ran out of stuff and they're like, well, at least this year, we're at 90%. We're doing a lot better. We're not perfect, right? We're not 100%. We're not doing great. But we're still doing better than last year. So things were like we're on the up and up. We're, we're not at the bottom anymore. We're going up. Things should get better. But it, of course, formula is still hard to find. Just saying that, yeah, it's still hard to find the baby food. The X... Uh... The ex uh, productive uh, uh, director of the credit work best uh, mean low uh, loss uh, socially uh, society are not perfect <clears throat> that support families with young children in the fantasy or Chris say the group has all straight straight eight grade straight grade to produce produce a for able for manner in recent months jacket came <coughs> more Kingma Glamfielder I don't know name Latid says volunteer volunteers have the been the traveling around of city in the hopes of finding supplies which often can only be uh, published in limited quantities. So again, this is a nonprofit uh, charity. Remember, this is a group of people that do this for free and give food to poor people or homeless people. That's uh, like their job or in this case, for young children, right? Uh, these are families who are struggling. We're going to work hard for free and we're going to use our own money, right? Uh, so we lose money, obviously, but we're going to help you do this. Uh, but even they are struggling because they're going to this store, this store, this store, and there's only limited quantities, meaning you only can buy one can. You're not allowed to buy a hundred. You have to buy one, one, one. And so they have to drive to like 20 places just to get 20 uh, containers, and that's just not very helpful, right? Oh, and uh, sorry, it says they can do two. They can do two, not one, two. But that's still not a lot. Yeah. So, Randy, uh, you can uh, post just the two, just all the two package of the formula she said, and on top of that, she added the stuff that uh, recent BD policy is not on the safe shelf. <clears throat> yeah, so basically they're saying, yeah, you only can buy two at each store. So you have to go to this Walmart, buy two, this Walmart, buy two. Just to get 20, you have to go to 10 stores to get 20. And how many families are you helping? You're probably helping a hundred, a thousand, I don't know, how many families are you helping? So you have to go to like a thousand stores just to help s some families. And it's not just you only can get two, but it's the expensive ones only available. The reasonable priced ones, right? The cheaper ones, 
they're not available. They've all been bought. So it's been really difficult for these people to help people, sadly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Kimmy Griffith says the mito lost the socially has the faded 1,200 best this year from the 210 received clients in place of year. They are added to our three new uh, uh, clients every month. This year, she say it's been more like the 16 every month. So last year, only 210 people they were helping. Uh, not a lot of people needed help, only 210, and they helped them, right, last year. <clears throat> this year, I don't know what happened, but it's gone crazy, right? That's six times more, right? That's 600% increase uh, on people that need help. and. In the past, it was like one or two people a month that would add to the list and be like, okay, we just need to help two more people a month, blah, blah, blah. And now it's more like 16 every month, 16 new people. Um, so remember what I said earlier, uh, they only can get two jars or two containers uh, at a store. So they have to get one jar for every person, right? They have to go to 620 stores to get enough for one jar per family. A, a family needs like two, three, four jars a month. So to get that amount, they have to go to like thousands and thousands of stores. It's not very good right now. Yeah, very bad. In February 2022, the about uh, no lesson for more uh, monthly Bread in the Starches, Mich Michigan. That means Michigan. Michigan. Yes. Such for the must and issue the produce. They call do a communication issue preventing conceit with the short. Ah, uh, so this is the problem. I didn't know this. Basically, this big plant in Michigan um, had problems with their milk that was bad for children. So they're like, we have to bring all the milk back because this could kill babies or it's not good for the babies. And because of that, this is a huge factory that all of that milk was gone. And so all the other factories didn't have enough milk to supply everyone. So the whole continent, Canada, the United States, Mexico, all of a sudden didn't have enough milk for everything because of this plant having to bring everything back. But hopefully they can fix that. Um, sorry, I believe we're out of time now. So uh, I'll see you after lunch, right? Uh, we'll have to read that next time. Yep.